Tonight, a story News 5 started telling you two and a half weeks ago. A car smashed into a Cleveland Heights home during a high-speed police chase. And now that homeowner is demanding the city restore the guardrail that was taken down from in front of his home 16 years ago. I'm very curious to, to find out whose idea that was and you know who was consulted, who signed off on it. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis took this case straight to Cleveland Heights City Hall in search of some answers. Well, the homeowner in this case, who we first identified back on November 12th, does not want to be identified for this story because he doesn't want any more attention brought his way. However, he's hoping that leaders right here at Cleveland Heights City Hall will live up to a promise to put up a new guardrail in front of his home as soon as possible. There are the signs of frustration and concern now posted in front of this Cleveland Heights home on Fairmont Boulevard. The homeowner letting his feelings be known after this car plowed through his kitchen, ending a high-speed police chase, causing some $40,000 in damage to his house. It was like a bomb went off. You know, the air was filled with insulation and there was flying glass everywhere. And the house now held up with structural supports, leaving the homeowner with plenty of questions as he waits to see how his insurance company will try and cover the extensive repairs. Does it affect my property value? Will it affect my ability to sell this place at some point? The homeowner says he's asked the city to restore the guardrail in front of his house for more than five years after the city confirmed the guardrail was taken down in 2005 during a road resurfacing project. He tells News 5 it's contributed to multiple vehicles hitting his house and his neighbor's home since that time, causing thousands in damage. Whoever decision that was should be responsible, whether it's Cuyahoga County or Ohio Department of Transportation. News 5 contacted Cuyahoga County and ODOT about the guardrail and both told us, according to state law, it's the city's responsibility to restore the metal barrier. I feel terrible about it. Any of us could identify with how shocking that would be. News 5 took this case to Cleveland Heights City Manager Susanna Nearman O'Neill. She says the city will work to restore the guardrail in the coming months, but it's not clear if the city will help with home repair costs not covered by insurance. What I have asked is for Public Works and the police to kind of brainstorm what makes sense. Nearman O'Neill says the homeowner will be part of the guardrail design process and believes the years of delays to reinstall the barrier were because of a complicated set of street circumstances. Got the crosswalks right there, his driveway, it's a very small tree lawn. Um, you know, it's an odd, difficult situation. And the Cleveland Heights city manager says she is open to further examination of the city police chase policy, but not until the police department completes its formal review of that chase that took place on November 12th. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.